Hey everyone, this is Alex from 3D and CNC.com. Today we're going to unbox a Duplicator 7 and assemble it. So let's begin. Take your Duplicator 7 box, open it, and remove the top foam piece. Now open the bag. Notice there's a bag of FEP film on the top. Store that somewhere safe, as you'll likely need it when you do some maintenance on your D7 down the road. With that out of the way, we can see the top of your D7 unit. But it's a trick. That's the lid. If you pull that out, it just pulls the lid off the unit. What? It's easiest just to grab the plastic bag and pull the whole machine out at once. And that should be all that was in the box, except for a piece of packing foam left at the bottom. Remove the plastic bag from the Duplicator 7. This looks a little odd here. It seems like the rubber liner for the lid has come off during its travels. No problem, it's easy to put it back on. I'll probably eventually just glue it in place. Now the real unboxing begins. Remove the plastic wrapping from the Duplicator 7 unit. Looks like we have a bag of stuff and a box of stuff. Let's check the bag out first. It includes a power cable, a spatula thingy, an Allen key screwdriver, a USB cable, and an HDMI cable. Now let's open up the box. It includes a power supply, some knobs, an empty black plastic container, a container full of sample resin for the printer, and some latex gloves. Well that was Christmassy, but now it's time to finish assembling our D7. Let's replace those lame metal knobs with our super cool plastic knobs. Now screw the largest knob into the... Uh, resin end inverted platform on the Duplicator 7. Slide that onto your machine and tighten it down. Finally, remove those two packing foam strips under the resin bed chamber pool. And you're ready to rock! I'll make another video tomorrow demonstrating the software installation and actual usage of the machine. Alright, take it easy and subscribe, etc, etc. Buy stuff from my companies. Okay, bye. Nobody beats the brick.